Endeavour Houston, we see a nominal Miko. Welcome to space. Orbiting is how we get spacecraft like this Crew Dragon here to stay up in space without coming crashing back to Earth with a giant embarrassing thud. There's gravity in space, contrary to what some people say, because the universe has no way of telling whether you're in space or not, and all objects are attracted with gravity. It gets weaker with distance, but it gets stronger the more mass an object has, and well, the Earth is pretty massive. So if we were to just put something in space, straight up there, it would fall back to Earth. And for most things, that's not very useful. So the trick is to give them a great deal of speed. If we give them some speed, they'll curve down towards Earth instead of just falling straight back down. And if we give them a bit more speed, they still curve, but they get further around the Earth because the Earth is curved underneath that curved path that they're following. And if we give them enough speed so that the curve matches the curvature of the Earth, then that spacecraft goes all the way around the Earth. And there's no air resistance up there to slow them down, so they'll still be going at that speed once they get back here, and they'll go around again, and they'll go around again, and again, and again. That's the great thing about orbiting, is once we're up there, we don't have to do anything to stay up there. We can just keep going around and around. The speed at which this happens is called orbital velocity. However, not all orbits are circular. You would have an orbital velocity for a circular orbit, but if you go slightly higher than that orbital velocity for the circular orbit, you'll end up in an elliptical orbit like this, where you've got the highest point above Earth, which is called apogee, and a lowest point above Earth called perigee. As we go uphill towards apogee, gravity is pulling us like this, towards the center of Earth, which slows us down. That means that by the time we get to Apogee, we are going our slowest. And as we're coming back down from Apogee now, we're getting pulled towards the center of the Earth, which is speeding us up. So by the time we get down to Perigee, we are going at our fastest speed. We've been looking at this from a kind of two-dimensional perspective right now, thinking of the Earth as, you know, the circle. But the Earth is actually spherical, so let's take a look at something called orbital inclination. Orbital inclination is caused by having launch sites that are all over the world. Let's take a launch site from my country, New Zealand. Here's where the Mahia Peninsula is in New Zealand. This is where Rocket Lab launches their rockets from. It is located 39 degrees south in latitude. As such, the lowest inclination that a spacecraft can launch into from this launch site is 39 degrees. But what the heck is the orbital inclination? The orbital inclination is the angle between the orbit and the equator. I talked about this briefly in my ISS rendezvous video. This is because if we would have to put a large piece of paper through our orbit, it must always pass through our launch site and the center of the Earth. So the lowest inclination we can go to from any launch site is that launch site's latitude. Mahia Peninsula has 39 degrees south latitude, so the minimum inclination we can launch into is 39 degrees. We could launch into a more extreme inclination orbit like they often do. They sometimes go into polar orbits like this, and it still checks out this large piece of paper will pass through the center of the Earth and through the launch site. The great thing about a high inclination orbit like this, which is often called a polar orbit, is that it allows you to pass over many locations on the Earth, because the orbit stays fixed like this, and the Earth rotates underneath it. That allows things like imaging satellites and communication satellites and weather satellites to pass over all the locations you need them to. The lower the inclination of your orbit, the fewer locations you will pass over. Sometimes that's desirable if you only want to pass over certain locations. So that's the more three-dimensional way of thinking about orbits when we're considering the usefulness of them. That's all orbiting. 
it's simply space. There is now a recommended video and the subscribe button waiting for you in the Space Shuttle's payload bay. I'll see you later.